This video will show you how to do a full system scan. Connect the power adapter. Then connect the USB cable. Now, connect Spooky to Boost to the generator. Twist to lock it. Connect the TENS cable to the high power port. Twist to lock the cable. The other side connects to TENS pads. Now, let's connect Spooky2 Pulse. Here we use Spooky2 Pulse Air Clip option. First, connect the pulse to the computer. The pulse must be connected to the computer, or the scan results would be inaccurate. Then we connect the air clip. If you have air holes in your ears, you can use a finger clip. OK, now we connect TENS pads. Stick TENS pads to the right wrist and left ankle like this. Turn on your generator. Now, let's go to Spooky2 Software. Please double click the Spooky2 icon to start Spooky2 Software. It will take a few minutes to load the database. On the control tab, there is a square button that has number 3. It means that Spooky2 Software has found the Spooky2 XM Generator. Back to the Presets tab, please choose Biofeedback Scan, Spooky2 Pulse, General, General Purpose Full System Scan, Bracket C, Close Bracket, Bracket R, Close Bracket, Hyphen JW. Then go to the Control tab, tick Overwrite Generator, and click the Generator button. Finally, click the Scan button to start Spooky2 Biofeedback Scan. There is a 30 heartbeat delay. There is a 30 heartbeat delay, which will give you time to restore calm. The graph is moving, and it means everything is working correctly. The scan result will pop up when the biofeedback scan is complete. Please click the save button and you will see this window show up. Put a name to help you recognize this program. You could also add some descriptions here. Now click this button to save the program. Go to the programs tab untick all databases and tick only BFB and you can see the program you just saved here.
after a biofeedback scan, you can use contact mode, remote mode and plasma mode to run the scan result. In the video, we will run the results by Spooky to remote. So we disconnect the TENS pads and connect Spooky to remote. Don't forget to put DNA samples in the remote. Now, go to the Presets tab, choose a preset to run the scan results. I run it in remote mode, so I click shall, bracket empty close bracket, presets dash, remote dash, killing bracket r close bracket, hyphen jw. Go to the programs tab, Choose the program you just saved. Go to the control tab, tick overwrite generator and click your generator port. Click start to start rifing. Thanks for watching this video.